9CI's USB Fiber is a plug-and-play fiber optic data link providing galvanic isolation, long length runs over 30 meters, and high speeds exceeding 1 megabit per second. It is designed to bridge systems using USB. It can also be wired in to bridge traditional serial links via solder pads. USB Fiber is plug-and-play on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux computer systems. No driver install is necessary. USB Fiber plugs directly into USB Type-A ports and is bus-powered. Current draw is very low, permitting use on legacy and low-power systems. USB fiber can be used for galvanic isolation of two devices, useful for systems like electric vehicles, can be used for long serial links where USB or RS-232 will not work, and can be used when higher speeds in electrically noisy environments are required. 9CI's USB fiber comes in a drop-safe, rain-tolerant IP52 zipper case and can operate from 0 degrees Celsius, or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, to 70 degrees Celsius, or 155 degrees Fahrenheit. The units are designed, manufactured, and assembled by 9CI in North America. For more information, email david at 9ci.ca. The 9CI USB fiber cables are incredibly easy to use. You simply remove them from the case that we will have eventually. Remove the cable. This will be made of foam. Remove the two USBs. The cable actually switches over as it goes along, so you can plug both, uh, both USBs in the same way with the clip facing upward. The cables can be plugged into either one or two laptops. With your USB fiber plugged into one or more devices, move to the Start menu and open your Device Manager. Go down to Ports and review the names of the two comms. You can close the Device Manager and go to the Start menu, and then open your Hyper Terminal. We are using PuTTY. In the Session tab, click Serial and change the COM to the number of one of your USBs. And then in the Window tab, under Behavior, name the window title. We used COM8 for one of ours. Click Open, then repeat for the second window on either the same or your secondary device. Again, this is going to be COM9 for us. Click on the window you wish to be active and then you can begin typing. It will appear in the second window. Note, nothing visible happens in the window in which you are typing. You can switch back and forth by highlighting the window you wish to actively type in and it will always appear in the second window. To stop, you can either unplug the device or close the window session. So the interesting thing about our micro USB fiber is that you can actually measure it with our optical frequency counter. Let's make that nice and loud. Pretty cool, eh?